Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell for notifications on future uploads. If you're Mr. Holiday and you have messed up in finding who teleported me, I'm heading up. Yes, it was me. I did it. Aha! I should have known! It is I, Mr. Nobody, the one who teleported you to Sullivan. But why? Because, since I had missed out on invading your home last year, due to that awful amount of sleep and candy I had, I wanted to get back at you before October ends. Well, you did fine so far. So far? This is only the beginning, and I am going to take you with me to celebrate Halloween forever. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, because I have one more review here. Oh, um, will I take you after the review? Unlikely. No. Hello everyone, Solomon Bart here, or you can call me Sully. And let's conclude this year's Halloween by reviewing another Halloween cartoon. But this time, it's from Disney, and stars the likes of Donald Duck and his nephews. It's the classic Disney Halloween cartoon, released on October 10th, 1952. Trick or Treat. Huey, Dewey, and Louie are out trick-or-treating one Halloween night, and came to their uncle Donald Duck for some treats. But Donald ends up tricking his nephews twice, first with putting firecrackers in their bags, then dumping a bucket of water on them. Yet a witch named Witch Hazel, who was flying around that very night, saw what happened to the three boys, and after trying to get candy from Donald to no avail, Hazel decided to create a potion with the help of Huey, Dewey, and Louie that brings things to life in spooky ways, which starts to scare Donald, eventually leading Hazel to use the potion on Donald to get the treats from his pantry. The first time I've seen this cartoon was on a direct -to video movie, Mickey's House of Villains, which I first saw on Disney Channel before owning a VHS of it. I enjoyed it when I first saw it, and surprisingly, I enjoy it even more nowadays. With only one problem I have with it, but we'll get to it soon enough. Firstly, this is one pretty entertaining cartoon, and unlike the Popeye cartoon, Fright to the Finish, there's more Halloween stuff in this, from ghosts, to jack-o'-lanterns, to a witch, to a black cat, to candy, to trick-or-treating, it's simply surrounded in simple, but fun things for the holiday, and with them come some fun, funny, and enjoyable moments in this classic Disney Halloween cartoon. Witch Hazel is an interesting character for being a witch that loves to scare, yet cares for those who love Halloween or believe in witches. And it's interesting because later on, Chuck Jones introduced his version of Witch Hazel for Warner Brothers, who is not only voiced by the same voice actress as the Disney version, but is more of the typical mean witch people come to know, and who has very little sympathy for those around her. Plus, the Looney Tunes Witch Hazel has appeared in more cartoons than the Disney Witch Hazel. But still, this version has some fun and funny bits, like when Donald pulls on her nose, which gave me a nice laugh. I do like when she and Donald's nephews work together on a potion, and she uses the ingredients from Shakespeare's Macbeth including some that weren't in the play, to which Hazel says, this is the real stuff right out of Shakespeare. And the potion she uses is pretty good, leading to the cartoon's main theme, Trick or Treat, where the potion turns posts into ghosts, jack-o'-lanterns come to life, and the gate flies becoming a harp for the ghosts. But it gets more fun when Hazel enters Donald's house, demanding the scared duck for treats. Though Donald then locks the pantry and swallows the key when being called a pushover by Hazel giving Hazel the chance to cast a potion on Donald's feet and have him kick the key out of him, presenting a fun little dance number. Yet, with the key out, Donald throws it in the pantry, having Hazel make the feet knock the door over with Donald, and ending with Huey, Dewey, and Louie getting their treats and Hazel flying away. All of what happened is really fun with memorable songs and funny animation. And though I don't question why the nephews also take fruits with candy, or why one of them is a witch, I do question why there's only one voice for the nephews. Throughout this cartoon, all three of them are shown to be speaking sometimes, but there's only one voice coming from them, and it's pretty odd to pass up. This is the only problem I have with this cartoon, as there's no duplicated voices for them, or they sound so in sync they blend together. I really don't know what happened here, 
Did Disney forget to have the actors say the lines twice? Were they in a rush? Did the sound editor forget to duplicate it? Who knows? But if the only eerie thing in this cartoon is the opening with Donald's face and the title looking painted on, yet it has the trick-or-treat song playing to kind of set the tone, then I have nothing to worry about, except for only hearing one of the nephews and not all of them. And the actors voicing the characters did a pretty good job. June Foray voices Witch Hazel, Clarence Nash voices Donald Duck and Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and Thoreau Ravenscroft voices Jack-o'-lantern. As a whole, this cartoon is fun, funny, and kind of magical, no pun intended. The characters are good, the story is lovely, and the animation is pretty enjoyable. Director Jack Hanna had made a pretty fun Donald Duck cartoon that's also a good Halloween cartoon, with plenty of things associated with the holiday. Even though there's only one problem I have with it, that is, with there only being one voice for the nephews, that's more of a nitpick as the rest of it still works out. And with enjoyable and catchy songs, funny moments, and a feeling of Halloween all around, this is a pretty neat cartoon to enjoy for the spooky season. So today, this cartoon will begin a rating of... 3 stars. Okay, enough of this! Time for me to take you! Since you've been quietly patient during my review, I'll make a deal with you. If you work for me next Halloween, and don't harm me in any way, I'll let you join me in my Halloween review. Is that fair? What? See you next year! And that is it for Halloween. Thank you for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Support me on Patreon. And until next time for a new video. And have a happy Halloween. And now if you'll excuse me, I'll try to find my way out of here.